Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing really well. Uh, today I am bringing you guys a kind of like day in the life vlog style video. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna call it yet, um, but I thought I would do one of these just because we're all at home at the moment and I've been loving watching people's like vlogs and just what they've been getting up to like in the day. Um, so the other day I thought I would film just like, yeah, what I get up to in the day. I think I did like a little workout, showed you my makeup, did a few you like changes in my room just things like that um so yeah i really hope you enjoy the video let me know if you did in the comments and i can always do more of these um and of course i'll link all like my outfit pieces that i'm wearing throughout the video in the description box so yeah hope you enjoy good morning everyone um i think i am going to do a workout i've just got all ready in my gym stuff literally haven't done a workout in months i was just starting to get into the gym before this whole thing happened and then when that was stopped i was just like yeah i can't be bothered to do workouts from home but i thought for the vlog it will make me look fit and healthy if i did one so that's what we're doing i bought a yoga mat this is from amazon so hopefully that will inspire me in future to work out um and i have my resistant band as well so i'm just gonna do a bit of like leg workout ab workout i don't really know we're just gonna go with it see how it goes do a few stretches we'll probably get bored after like 10 minutes and stop i am such that person just like 10 squats and then it's just like yeah can't be bothered to do any more but we will see hopefully i will stay motivated it's nice and sunny out so yeah hopefully that will help i'm gonna just do it in my garden i think but yeah this is what i'm wearing it's just all black super boring i think this top is from fabletics and then these leggings are h&m so yeah and then i'll put on some trainers as well so let's see how this goes i'll maybe put you on like a time lapse or something to show you what i'm doing so yeah I did probably about 20 minutes total but we're going with it um I've now just had a shower and I'm gonna do my makeup and hair for the day so I thought I'd just do like a little time lapse of how I do it um do let me know if you want like a more in-depth makeup tutorial though because I can definitely do that um even though I'm not an expert in makeup don't really know what I'm doing but I will show you like some of my favorite products and everything if you want to see it but for today i'm just gonna like fast forward how i do my hair and makeup so let's get started makeup done I'm now gonna do my hair I think I'm just gonna go for like a low bun um, because it's a little bit greasy anyway and I just feel like low buns are the easiest thing to do they work really well when your hair's on like third or fourth day and you don't want to wash it yet um, so let's just take it out of this find my middle part go give it a quick brush through and then I just use a little bit of hairspray to kind of like slick it down um, you can use gel but I find it gives your hair like a really greasy wet look um, and hairspray is quite easy to brush out as well like if you don't want a low bun the next day 
you can just brush it out. So I kind of just go over it like that. It's a little bit bumpy, but who cares? And then I'll take little like slidey bobby pin clips and just clip the hair kind of behind my ear, just because I find that that's where like all my little short baby hairs come out. So we just do that. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna get dressed now and then I'll show you my outfit. So yeah, see you in a sec. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Super comfy, that is literally like my vibe for the next 12 weeks. Um, I've got this little Zara bodysuit on, absolutely love these, I'll link it down below. Um, they just fit really, really well. And then these like wide leg trousers are from, I think they're I saw it first, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I will link some down below, hopefully these ones are still in stock. But if they're not, I'll try and find like a similar pair. And I feel like the light's gone really dark, let me, can I turn it up? Yeah, that's better um yeah so i'll try and link a similar pair down below i mean they give you a little bit of a camel toe not gonna lie and they are a little bit see-through you can kind of see the bodysuit um underneath but yeah i'm inside no one's actually gonna see me so who cares and then my slippers i've just got on are these little like i think they're called like emu slippers they're not made out of emus don't worry um but yeah i'll link them down below um but yeah they're super cute and comfortable but today what i'm doing is i'm changing the like doorknobs on my wardrobe so let me like pan you around and i'll show you the situation because it's been a bit of a mess for the last like month um so yeah i'll show you what i've been doing okay so these are the door handles currently um now they're different to the last time you saw them so they used to be like white wooden knobs if that makes sense i'll insert a picture of what they used to look like um and they just weren't my vibe didn't really like them but i had them like that for like two years because i just never could be bothered to change them and then about three months ago i decided to finally buy some like other handles i decided to go for these like gold ones here not sure if you can tell um that shut that drawer it's not shut properly so i went with these ones here and i got them on everything because basically there was only like one hole on all of these and i didn't want to make like two holes for long handles um so yeah initially i just went with the little like t little handles um which again i'll insert a picture of what that looked like but i think because there was just so many of them i think i have like 30 different like door handles um it just looks a bit weird so i then picked up some long ones for the doors off amazon if i show you closer so that is what these ones look like which again i like but they're really really cheap i just got the cheapest pair because i didn't know if i was going to like them um but i screwed an extra hole and i do so i then bought a load of new handles which are these ones here so these are the old these are the new so i'm going to change all the door handles to these ones and then also on the drawers like here i want to get rid of like the two handles and just do like one long one there as well and then i'll do the same on the chest of drawers so i'm going to keep the small ones on the top drawers um, but just get one long handle for the middle ones that drawer is not closed at the bottom let's ignore that and yeah and do it on that wardrobe as well so i've got all my handles here i will link them down below they were from like an etsy um seller but yeah these were the cheap amazon ones which i can link down below as well if you're looking for like a more affordable one because these did end up costing a lot um just because i have so many handles obviously if you only have like two or three handles then it's not as expensive but let me turn you around but yeah because i have so many handles it worked out like 160 pounds which is not ideal but i haven't done anything to my room in ages and when i do i normally like diy it like the wardrobes were actually dark brown to start with i then like stripped them all and painted them because i didn't want to buy like new wardrobes so yeah i am very diy i save a lot of money elsewhere so i was like right let's invest in some nice handles obviously i went for the gold um just because i think gold looks really like chic but um these are really good because if like in two years time i decide i want silver i can also like spray paint them but yeah that's what i'm going to be doing today so i'll bring you guys along with me and show you like the before no i've showed you the before i'll show you the after and like the due in due in yeah due in that does that make sense um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this little like homeware bit of this vlog and let's get on with it Okay, so I just unscrewed the handle that was actually already done. That's a little bit annoying. 
and I've somehow taken this off of here. I do not know. Let me see if I can. Okay, so I'm just editing this video from my bed, um, but I've noticed I have the worst contour line. I'm not sure what happened, why I did not blend it in at all. It looks terrible. So yeah, let's excuse that. And I will definitely be learning to blend before I do another makeup tutorial. Fix that, there we go. And then I guess that just screws into here maybe. Also, if I look pregnant, I promise you I'm not. I just feel like high-waisted trousers always make me look really bloated. But who cares? I mean, I have been eating all the chocolate I can get my hands on. So that is probably why. But yeah, let's try and put this back on now. And how do we do this? Like that. Oh, none of these doors actually shut properly because the wardrobes are so old. Um, so like, as you can see, this one doesn't completely shut, which is a bit annoying. Let me see. No, okay, that one's shut now. Let's move on to this one and actually start what I'm supposed to start. Okay, so that's not supposed to happen. Um, the little like screw should have came off with the handle, but it broke. So I don't know how to get this off now because it just keeps on turning if I try and unscrew it. Right, I might need to go get some like pliers maybe and see if I can like hold that whilst unscrewing it. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. I have some of these, which I think are pliers. So let's have a go and see if that works. I kind of grip it maybe. Yay, that worked. Okay, so let's, maybe I can just screw the other handle straight on. Should we see? Does that fit in there? Yeah, that looks like it will fit. Is that straight? Oh god, um, I don't know, let me do it more. Okay, I think that's as good as that's going to get at the moment. But let's do this one now. Hopefully this one will come off a lot easier. Okay, let's stop. Um, now I think I'm going to have to leave these ones for now just because I need my mum or dad to come help me because I need to make like two new holes and then um, fill in this stuff with wood filler maybe? I don't know, we'll see if we have some, I think we do. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave these ones for now but I will cut maybe to when I'm doing them or when it's all finished so you can see but I think these handles look a lot nicer than these ones these ones are the expensive ones. These ones are the really cheap Amazon ones. Okay, so we now have the long handles installed like up there and on all the drawers. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. I've somehow lost one of the handles though. I mean, they might have forgot to send it to me and it's like their error, but it also could be my error as well because I literally lose everything. So I'm gonna have to have a look around for it because there's no handle on that door which is a little bit weird but yeah I can always order another one if need be but yeah that's what they all look like I'm not sure like I don't know obviously I need to fill the holes still um these will all be gone but do we prefer the long handles on all the drawers or did it look better with the two handles let me know because I'm kind of 50 50 I'm not really sure, um, but my dad literally spent ages with me drilling all the new holes. It was a little bit of a nightmare. So I feel like I've got to go for these anyway, like even if I don't like them, if I change back to the other ones, then I'm not sure he will be happy. But yeah, let me know what you think. It did take a while to get them all level and like the right distance apart. I'm gonna go make some lunch now, but I'm really upset because basically um, I had like a Tesco's delivery this morning and my plan was to have like pasta today with like tomato sauce and I bought parmesan cheese. Like I was really looking forward to my lunch, but guess what? They just did not deliver the sauce. So I have pasta, I have cheese, but no sauce. 
so I now can't have it. So very upset about that. I mean, distraught even. Um, so now I don't know what I'm going to eat. It is very very troubling I mean I'm sure you guys can relate now because I don't have my lunch that I wanted I'm just going to end up eating unhealthy because that is not that pasta is exactly healthy anyway but I feel like I'm just going to end up having like crisps and chocolate because I still have easter eggs left so yeah we do not know yet let's go see what is in the kitchen and what there is to actually eat because I'm not the kind of girl that eats like salads and avocado on toast i wish i was like i tried them and they just don't taste nice like i really wish i did like them and um, because they look cute on instagram and like people's what i eat in a day videos but i'm just not someone that enjoys a salad like i don't mind having a salad on the side of like a meal but for the whole meal just to be a salad it's just not me so yeah let's go see what there is in the kitchen okay let's see what's in the fridge i feel like the fridge is quite full actually it's mainly just like dinners um so maybe let me have a look do you have some of this like tiger bread um so maybe i'll have some of that with just like butter or something my favorite is just literally like bread with lurpak on literally love it so yeah i might just have that and then this is my little chocolate stash down here so we'll probably end up eating some of this um yeah and then some fruit maybe we'll see that's what i think i'm eating today oh and we have oranges i'm in my dressing gown because it's kind of cold oranges are my favorite i absolutely love them um i feel like oranges are so hit and miss but these are the jaffa easy peelers i don't actually think they're oranges i think they might be like clementines but they are my favorite so yeah we'll have some of them as well sorry about the mess in the background um we are in the middle of like redoing our house like painting everywhere so there's lots of paints out and like diy stuff Ooh, i just remembered i have some ice cream this is literally the best ice cream ever caramel vanilla from tesco's oh my god it's amazing fresh tub as well and you have all like the bits on top so that is definitely what i'm going to be having for dessert so it's later on in the day now and i'm off out on my daily walk i know the rules are like different depending on like what country you live in and um, but in england you're allowed out to like get food medicine and to go on like one exercise a day whether that's like going for a walk or a run or a cycle whatever you want to do and you can go like either by yourself or with members of your household um so i'm going for a walk just with my parents probably do about 5k or so so it should take us about an hour um but yeah i'm quite lucky that i kind of live on the outskirts of london so there's quite a lot of like nice kind of parks woods those kind of things near me so i think we're just going to do like a walk around there and, and they're always really quiet like we never ever see anyone so yeah it's all safe and everything um but this is what i'm wearing i have changed i've just got on this little like white bodysuit which is from new look um these jeans which are from topshop they're their premium mum jeans trainers are just my alexander mcqueen ones they're super dirty but why even bother to clean them when i'm literally just going out on walks um so they get muddy anyway um and then i've got sunglasses on which i think are from h&m or somewhere um because it's super nice weather out today and then this little black bag so yeah that is my outfit to go on my walk um so yeah hopefully i can get a few clips whilst i'm out maybe we will see um and i'll see you in a bit Okay, so I've just got home now, um, but I wanted tonight try and do my nails um, because they're literally disgusting at the moment. I've got on just like a normal polish, but it's so chipped and I just find my nails like break so much without having like gel polished. And I do have like an at home gel polish kit. I got it for my birthday about six months ago, used it once, it went terrible, never use it again, but I'm gonna attempt to do it again. I've watched some YouTube videos, 
on how to do it. I just think I was rubbish at painting my nails before. I've always had a picture of what they looked like when I tried to do them. Um, but I think I'm gonna go for like a, just a pinky color. I went for a yellow last time and I think that just shows up so many mistakes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how it goes. Hopefully okay. And I'll show you what I'm using. I just ordered the stuff off Amazon. So it's super like easy and I think it's pretty affordable as well. So yeah, let's do that and have a go. Okay, I've made my little like setup of everything we should need. We have the little like, what is this? Gel setter thing. You know the one, you put your hand in it. It does very good. We have like top coats, bottom coats, various colors. I mean, actually I've got four colors here. They're all nudes. Um, so I'm gonna see, choose one of them. We have nail polish remover, cotton pads, vials, pusher, backer, cuticle things, cuticle like cutters, nail clippers, various like buffing tools, nail files. Yeah, everything we should need, hopefully. Um, I've got to take this nail polish off first because it looks horrible and then also kind of like shape my nails a little bit because I'm not sure if you can tell. I don't want to put my middle finger up at you, but it's like all cut and weird and they're just not in good condition. So we need to correct that first. So I'm gonna take this off and then do a little bit of TLC to the nails. Bit of hair there, lovely. A uh, bit of nail glue on that table. That's what we like to see. So yeah, I will fast forward this little bit and you can kind of see everything I get up to. I feel like I'm very much talking with my hands here because you can't see my face. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So I filed them all down and buffed them and everything. They're not in the best condition because I just had SNS on and when I took them off it kind of ruined my nails a little bit and they're all kind of different lengths etc. But we're just going to go with it. I'm thinking I might just do one hand at a time. That way if it goes wrong I'm only having to remove it from one hand instead of doing both. So let's see what colour I want. I'm thinking maybe this one. Let's have a look. Yeah, so just like a nudie pink. Not sure if you can tell, that's what I'm thinking. So let's, I think we've got to do a bottom coat first. Yeah, so this is the base coat. So let's start with that and see how this goes. Okay, that's one coat done. Now let's see if this works. I think you just put it in and then if we do 30 seconds, 60 seconds, what's that? 90 seconds, oh well, we'll go with 90 seconds for now and see how that kind of goes. Okay, that is 90 seconds up, are they dry? No, they don't feel dry at all. Let's do it for another 90 seconds maybe. Let's try. Okay, let's see, I don't know, they still look really wet, I'm not sure if you can tell. That's still wet, I don't know what, like, is it okay that it's wet? I don't know. Did I put the top coat on instead? Oh, maybe I put the top coat on. Did I? Oh, uh, let me watch back this video clip and see. Hello, by the way, I am here. Hmm. Okay, so I've just looked it off my phone. Apparently it's supposed to be slightly tacky. So I'm just gonna go in with the nail polish now and see if that works. but I wanted to show you like my finished nails. I'm not sure if you can tell. Let me try and focus this on my nails instead of my head. Come on. Does that work? There we go. Yes, yeah, so you can kind of see the finished results, which I think they actually look quite nice. Like, don't get me wrong, they're not amazing. I'm not gonna be working at a nail salon anytime soon, but much better than my last attempts. I'm thinking with a few tries, I'll be an expert. But yeah, I'll keep you updated on how long they actually last. Hopefully they stay like this for at least like two weeks. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll keep you updated either on here or on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, I think I'm now just gonna 
go on my laptop, answer some emails, watch some YouTube videos probably. Yeah, so maybe I'll sign off here, say goodnight. Um, it's like 9pm now I think. Um, and yeah, so I need to take off my makeup, have a shower or a bath. I'm thinking a bath, like I do love a bath with like bubble bath as well but I just love a good bath I always end up spending like 45 minutes in there just going on my phone um but yeah I hope you're all doing really well keeping safe make sure to subscribe if you haven't already thumbs up this video and do let me know if you have any other videos you want to see and yeah goodbye